Hello. Today we're going to drink beer. I'm joined by my two special guests, Brosnan. Hi, good to see you again. And Jared. Hello. Yeah. You've got a, a wonderful shirt today. So I went out and I got us some nice glasses. I thought it'd just be two of us, so someone has to have the Hello Kitty glass. I'll, I'll have the Hello Kitty glass. It will make me look less like a hobo, I guess. So we're starting off with this one. It's called Mars Green Beer. And, and they is that a woman or a it man? It is. This is a woman. Because uh, like Pokemon, it comes in two different versions. You can have a beautiful man or a beautiful lady. Now, have any of you guys um, critiqued beer before? Only at parties. And But you're both beer drinkers, aren't you? Yeah. Avid, but not professional. Yeah, I would, I would not go so far as to say we're professional beer drinkers. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Um, I gotta be careful, that's my break. Hmm. I actually like it. I taste nothing. It tastes awful. I think it has a bit of a sweet hint. No. no. <laughs> we have a palate cleanser because, you know, we want to. I swear to God, if it's those chips again. We have. Do you guys want to see what flavor, or do you just want to dive in blind? I'm going Dragon Boat Festival rice uh, bowl. Okay, we, there's a picture on the back. <laughs> yeah, give me that zone, so. Mm. I will give China the. They somehow get flavoring quite right. Well, that well. is quite zonzuri. It tastes exactly how I. Would. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, <clears throat> we have. Oh, a classic. Snow. Mm. Now, snow. fun fact, snow is in fact the best-selling beer in the world. Did you guys know this? No. No. Um... But it makes sense because I drink it every time I have Shao Kao. Yeah. Yeah. Snow only actually is sold in China. Nowhere else in the world it <laughs> Okay, yeah, but sold. I feel like that's Probably cheating. Good <laughs> so we're going to have some of the most popular beer ever. Have you guys ever had snow? Dumb question. Uh, well, I mean, maybe. Hundreds of times. Okay. Yeah, quite possibly. I but it's very it. situational. You only drink snow beer if you're having Shao Kao. Any other time, or being, just a Or being held at camera point. Yes. It's fine. Yeah. It's weird tasting it without spice in your mouth. So, fun fact, Harbin is my favorite beer of choice. And it's a very strong, respectable 3.6. I mean, how do you think Chinese beer compares to beer back home? Well, um, the stuff you're presenting is bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Uh -huh. So anything in, let's say, America or... Uh, yeah, anything in South Africa. Yeah. Well, our bottom our of the barrel. This is like Bud Light-esque. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Gambe. Cheers, Gambe. I like it, but it doesn't taste at all different from the other two. It really doesn't. No, it's exactly the same. I think they're just taking all the beer from one <laughs> vat and then just, just like slapping put it on different another labels label. On yeah. it. <laughs> this one has slightly less cat piss. Okay. Bottoms up, boys. Bottoms we up. Need, we need another palate cleanser. So, we're having what appears to be spicy duck neck. Oh, god damn it. Yes! At least it's spicy. Now I can eat, drink this. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there we go. Tasting yes. beer. Hmm. That is exactly like a duck neck. And next up, we have Sing Tao. Um, a beer I'm certain has a different pronunciation every time I attempt to say it. Probably, now, yeah. Tsingtao is actually uh, the most popular Chinese beer outside of China, uh, by virtue of the fact that it actually exports out of China. It says from China to the world, just like a certain something I won't mention. Which is interesting because I've never seen it in South Africa. I've never seen this before coming to China, but hey, it does technically export to other countries. I think I've had it in America once or twice. Viewers at home, if you want Chinese beer, this is your best bet. So, we really yeah, it's your a... closest bet. 
If you want the authentic Chinese beer experience, come to China. Or just piss in your toilet. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> So, should people go out and buy a Tsingtao? Well, let me tell you. No. No. <laughs> no. Next up, we actually have Laoshan beer. Have any of you heard of this? I mm, have not. No, I have not heard of Laoshan wait, beer. Wait, what, what does Laoshan? it say on there? Laoshan? Because. Unlike the other beers, this one is literally just Tsingtao and it doesn't pretend not to be. Yeah, yeah, it actually says, yeah, the honorary product of Tsingtao Brewery. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly the same. It was given 68% on beeradvocate.com, which is a poor wow. review. Then has any of the beers that we've tried, that we will try, reached above this one on Beer Advocate? I don't know. Not all of them make it to beeradvocate.com. Good head. Oh. Most expensive beer here in China is all imported, literally from anywhere. <laughs> and yeah. you'll pay not only the price you would pay in another country, but you would also pay the import price. So yeah. if you're drinking that kind of beer, you need to be eating not spicy. And something. Yeah. Yeah. Western. -ish. Yeah. We can save money. I'm not. I'm not saying like all Chinese beers are the same. I'm just saying the ones that we have tried tonight are exactly the same. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, I've I've been to some interesting places here in Chengdu, and they they sort of like locally crafted uh, Chengdu Chinese yes. beers, and those are good. There are craft beers. Yeah. They are very good. But these, these are these are what you'd find in any convenience store here yeah. in China. These are the Seven Eleven beers. Yeah. These are what you get when you don't want the party to stop, even though it's four o'clock and like you're gonna have a hard time at work the next day. Yeah, yeah. that's an endorsement. They should put that on the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's actually yes. would sell more. <laughs> that would sell way more. You uh, use this to beer for when it's four a.m. and you need to sober up. <laughs> Wait a second. We need the. Palette cleanser. Oh god. Okay, so the last flavor is white rabbit. Oh, those white rabbit sweets. They actually flavored chili. What did they. How? I don't hate it. That is weird. It sh that, that should not be a crisp flavor, but it works. It shouldn't be sweet, but it's very sweet. It's yeah. very sweet. As a bro. And they got the flavor again. Spot fucking on. We have. A what, special what, okay. beer. What? This is Chongqing. And it's upside down? Well, no. actually, no. It's upside down and right way up. For some reason. So, Chongqing is close, but it's not Chengdu. Right? Yeah. No. No. Well, it's Chengdu on a hill. It's probably got. It's probably sold in two places in the whole of the province. Are you sure it's at a supermarket, or is it more of like a public bathroom? The piss jokes truly never end. It... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, somebody is feeling the 2.9%. I bought a Hello Kitty towel to go with the Hello Kitty glass. Well, the Hello Kitty boy perfect for the one who's mess. drinking from the Hello Kitty cup. Yes. Cheers, guys. Gone day. I want to say it tastes different, but at the same time... I feel like it tastes a bit worse than the other ones. There's virtually no difference between this and the seven others we've tried. That's very true. <laughs> and Virtually no difference. Color is same as well. I swear to God, they got one big brewery somewhere and they're just pouring it. through. conspiracy theory tap. is... <laughs> yes. Circumstantial evidence is proving it more and more true. This would go bad. really well with a Chongqing hot pot. Mm, and, and probably it, true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We see. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Wu Tzu. Wu Tzu. Now, these come in quite big bottles, and this is generally known to be one of the stronger beers. How Ooh. much? Is it well, like a 4%? Let me tell you guys. <clears throat> Fun rumor. I heard that a bunch of people died drinking this stuff because it was so high in alcohol content. The government stepped in and said, you got to lower that percentage. So now it's only 4%. What was it before? Well, 4.5. <laughs> yeah. 
They are no, well. I mean, come on. They drink baijiu here. I feel like they can handle. Well, here's the thing. I can't find any evidence of this online. But I was searching in the English website. Yeah, that doesn't exist. That you have to yeah. go to Baidu if so... you want to find the truth. From a South African point of view, this will make a very nice Molotov cocktail. What? This smells horrible. I've never had this one, so... Really? This is... What the? It does smell horrible. I think right. it smells like Chinese beer. I've been drinking Chinese beer for too long, maybe. Mm. Exactly the same. Exactly. Why does it smell worse, but exactly it's, the yeah. same? How, how did they get that right? I think we just drank the same beer I've, I've had seven times seven in a row. Beers from seven different makers, seven different bottles, and yet they all are the same tint, beer. the same foam, yes. the same flavor. There's absolutely nothing different between any of these. Yeah. Jing, Jinji. Ching Shuang beer. Now, they were giving this away for. Ginger. Not quite Ginger. giving it away. It was one Kwai 50 at my local supermarket. And I think it's because they had to get rid of these cans. Would you like to read the uh, English for me, please? With white. With. <laughs> nice and red. <laughs> I thought I was drunk there for a second, but no, it's just the writing. Okay, damn. Holy <laughs> shit. With. With tight. With smooth foam wheat with multi smell, with happiness from clear dry, with recept flavor. I know it sounds like I had a stroke there, but I kid you not, I read that exactly as I saw it. <laughs> you need help. Go, yeah, no, go for Please, it. Please, Jared. What tight? <laughs> wow, it added an extra T. <laughs> I died, why do you think I said it? Recept flavor. Mm. You, and you thought I wasn't reading? Recept. Recept, you know. Recept flavor. Or maybe they were drinking their own product when they tried oh, to re <laughs> write it. This must be good stuff. 3.7. Stronger than a hard bin. Yay. Cheers, guys. Oh, oh it is oh, worse. That is, that smell. Oh, it's everything. Oh, god damn it. It's, it's, <clears throat> it has a oh. sweet aftertaste. <laughs> it has something. But it smell. <laughs> that smell. What oh the? no, no, no! Like I made, I made piss jokes about the other seven, but this <laughs> one legitimately. Like this. It just tastes bad. It is. It's okay. Probably legitimately the worst one. out of the all of these, this is the first one that tastes different. It tastes different and tastes worse. Well, like, hang on, guys. This is fresh beer. Ain't yeah. nothing. Ain't nothing fresh about this beer, which is sad because, like. I know there's good beer here. Sorry, I just looked at with with we're tight. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're tight. tight. We're tight. <laughs> this this one should be a good one because it was above the five quai barrier. You bought nothing but five quai beers. Yeah, no. all of this is below no. five quai. This one is not a five quai beer. It's a one quai beer. One point five. <laughs> one point five. So, and it tasted exactly less what? than that. What? So. We have oh, a local beer. A local. Oh, I've had this before. It's actually Panda Brew. Can I see? Decent. That? Please have a look. This is Panda Eyes Honey, honey Ale. Please do. Ooh, oof! Listen to that. Yay! Yes. Finally, uh, pass okay. on over. I shall. It's a shame it's such a small bottle when you're not buying the the. <gasps> it's a different color. Oh. Yeah, so that's how you know it's good. Yeah. It's a different color. It's a different. S smell, scent. So, tell us, how much was this one if it broke the five quiet barrier? I forget. <laughs> Guys, this tastes different. Tastes different, yes. It does taste different, yes. Hmm. I did not dislike that. No, I like this one. Yeah. I would, uh... I would give this one yes, a recommend. People of China, please drink this. It's, yeah, drink it's more okay. of this, less of all of that. Yes, I mean, please, just like this. This is proof that China can make a good beer or an ale. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. But yeah, panda, panda eyes. Panda eyes. It's actually quite cute and good. You, you we, got anything we else? Saved the best till last. Apparently, this is one that Jared has actually. Oh, yes, I bought this on my own when I was shopping around. So from Hangzhou, we get this lovely craft brew, and a guy told me it was a chocolate 
porter stout. <sighs> I'm I am one for stout. So and you had the word chocolate. So you've sold me. Yeah, this is a uh, very. So dark I'm not. Beer. We're not here to say that all Chinese beer is without craft or flavor. It you just costs good a lot more. Yeah. Taste room. Taste room from Hangzhou. That has a chocolatey smell. I can smell the chocolate. Oh, it's not even near me, and I can it's smell. It's like a chocolatey chocolate coffee. Oh yeah. I like it. Mm. Oh, I'm happy. That's this very good. That's doesn't good. taste like the other beers. It yeah. Mm, I like it. It's like a dark chocolatey taste to it. It's mm. nice. I like it. It's, it's like an Irish coffee. <laughs> so let's rank the beers quickly. Let's rank the this beers. One this is easy. Right this one. Here. That's number 28 one. Twenty-eight Kwai beer number one. This good is second flavor. place. You uh, can literally put any of these in whatever order you want. They're all exactly They're the same. They're interchangeable. <laughs> that's actually fair. And yeah, this fair. And this one is, is no, no, an this outlier. One, just no, no, throw no, no, it. No. I will just say it goes. Open. Woo! Yes. Okay. Yes. That yes. one's off the chart. Yeah, just off the chart. Bad. It does not belong on the chart. <laughs> Um, as a as a reward for sticking through to the end, I give you these beer shaped lollipops. Hey, chupa chups. Chupa chups. Like yeah, but not chups. Like a You're beer. saying chups. It's not a yeah. beer flavor, but it, it looks like a beer. Okay, what do you think? English. It's mango. Um, gosh, that's about um, all we have time for. Mm -hmm. um, so <coughs> anyway, yeah, Chinese beer. I love it, and so do they. Uh, I have more money than him. So, somehow so do I then, apparently. Uh, for all those many, many viewers out there. Yeah. Please. Have a go. Have a go. And now we just have um, exit footage of us just uh, just randomly making small talk. Oh, yeah, right and now. And as it fades to black and, you know. How much do you think you can suck this before it, like, gives in?